In this video, I'll introduce SolidWorks users to the Solid Edge interface. Most of the functions in the Solid Edge interface are going to look familiar to SolidWorks users, but things are organized a little differently. I also recommend the separate video covering the basic workflow and order of operations differences between Solid Edge and SolidWorks. Solid Edge uses the ribbon interface, and each of these entries across the top is called a tab. The first tool that we need to take a look at is the File tab. The File tab brings non-CAD functions such as tutorials, training, file management, file templates, 2D, 3D print, settings, and so on. You can also access the Solid Edge community where you can find blogs, social media links, and the forum where other users answer questions and share experiences and much more. You should take some time to look through the options dialog under settings to familiarize yourself with how to set up the software the way you want it to run. In particular, you'll want to look through the general page, the helpers page, units, dimension styles, and annotations. And if you're the CAD administrator, of course, everything is important. Also, notice the search box in the upper right-hand corner. That makes it easier to find things when you know what you're looking for. Once you use a template to start a document, you'll see the main interface. Let's go through and identify all of the different areas of the main interface. The Quick Access menu will allow you to access several commands very quickly. Quick Access can be moved lower in the interface if you want to have it closer to the main graphics window. You can easily add items to the Quick Access by right-clicking on them in the ribbon and selecting Add to Quick Access. The Customize list helps you add or remove standard items from the menu, and the Customize option in the list brings you to a place where you can customize the entire interface. When you make a customization to the interface, Solid Edge gives you the option to save the new interface setup as a new theme and you can access all of these themes that you have created later on to quickly make changes to your interface setup. Unlike SolidWorks, Solid Edge doesn't have any menus. Everything is put on the ribbon interface, so you can switch between areas of the interface quickly by using the ribbon tabs. You can double click on a tab to minimize the ribbons and single click to get it back temporarily. If you double click on the tab a second time, you can get it back permanently. Solid Edge makes use of hotkeys for accelerating access to commands, just like SolidWorks. To see all of the available hotkey assignments, go to Customize, Keyboard, Choose Commands From, All Keyboard Assign. You can then print out this list or edit it to add your own special hotkey combinations. If you can't find a command or want Solid Edge to find a SolidWorks equivalent, that's what the Command Finder is all about. For example, if you're looking for the section view, just type section into the Solid Edge command finder and it will find the command for you and even highlight areas in the interface even when they are on different tabs and even if they are inactive in the current environment. The command finder will even find SolidWorks equivalent command. So if you type in the word shell, the command finder will find the thin wall command for you in Solid Edge. Below the ribbon is the artificial intelligence driven command predictor. The more you use the software, the more useful this predictor will become. The prompt bar is docked below the AI predictor by default, but this can be moved just by dragging it. You can allow it to float or use the rectangular stickers to dock the prompt bar. The prompt bar helps you understand exactly what Solid Edge is looking for in the current workflow. There is another interface element called panes. We've spoken of these before from the quick access toolbar. You can access all of the panes from here. There are several panes that you will make use of during your time in Solid Edge, including design reference, design configurator, family of parts, family of assemblies, and even elements such as the prompt bar and the pathfinder itself are listed in these panes. The panes are also listed on the right hand side of the graphics window in what's called the edge bar. If you pin a pane in place you can access the rest of the panes from the drop down and you can move the pane around the screen and notice the rectangular stickers around the perimeter of the screen. 
If you have the prompt bar set up, you can occupy the lower part of the prompt bar window with another pane. This can be very convenient and space efficient. Also, if we switch over to a part window and create a feature, the extrude box that shows up here is called the command bar. This is equivalent to SolidWorks Property Manager. This is where you set up and edit the parameters for features. The command bar can be moved around the screen and snapped into corners, but it doesn't dock like the other windows. It's generally found in the upper left-hand corner. The status bar is at the bottom of the Solid Edge window. This will show you how many items are currently selected. Next to the status bar are various view tools. In addition to rotate from the view bar, you can also use the middle mouse button to rotate the model. Your 3D Connection Spaceball device will also attach to Solid Edge and work perfectly with parts and assemblies and also drawing views. The Quick View Cube can also help you access views easily by clicking on faces, edges, or corners of the cube. Or you can use the arrows around the cube to manipulate the main graphics window. Access a radial menu by holding down the right mouse button. It has two levels of commands that you can add to the ring. You can use the first ring as a gestures menu. Gestures can be used by quickly dragging the right mouse button a short distance. To customize the radial menu, go to the Customize area of the Quick Access menu, Customize, and from here, you can select more than just the radial menu. When you have multiple documents open, they will show up as tabs on top of the windows so that you can have parts, assemblies, and drawings all open at the same time and navigate quickly and easily between them. The Pathfinder in Solid Edge is what's known as the Feature Manager in SolidWorks. You can move the Pathfinder using this bar at the top of the panel. You can move it to another monitor or outside of the application window. And there are various symbols that help you understand the status of parts, assemblies, and features within the Pathfinder. Selections in Solid Edge can be made in the normal way using left click, control click, or shift click. Notice that the cursor gets a plus or minus symbol on it when you're adding to the selection. Also, Solid Edge has a drop down list of available selection methods or modes. Spacebar toggles between the various selection modes. You can also use Fence Select to pick parts, features, faces, and other entities. Quick Pick is like Select Other in SolidWorks. You can access this by hovering over an item, allowing the right mouse button icon to appear, and then clicking on the right mouse button. This will give you a list of items underneath the cursor or nearby that you can select. Solid Edge has a context toolbar that works similar to the one in SolidWorks. It exists for ordered and sheet metal parts as well as assemblies. You can enable or disable it from Options Helpers page. Like SolidWorks, the Solid Edge context bar is shown on screen at the top of the right mouse button menus. The steering wheel can be just an arrow or a set of arrows with a torus around them. The steering wheel can be moved by dragging the center ball and dropping it to a new location. The steering wheel is used for various functions in synchronous and ordered modeling as well as assemblies. Finally, I want to point out the smile or frown faces you can use to send feedback back to the Solid Edge team to tell them if you're happy or not happy and why. This is also where you can invoke the help utility. Thanks for watching.